Hi. So here in this question, uh, we have a stacked bar graph which is in horizontal direction. Normally, you must have seen a stacked bar chart in vertical direction. This is in horizontal direction. So let's see what the whole graph is all about and what the set is all about. So here we have the different bars in the diagram above provide information about different orders in various categories which are art, binders and so on. You will realize that these categories actually do not matter in this particular set. So of various categories that were booked in the first two weeks of September of a store for one client. Okay, So all these orders are from a client. The color in the pattern of a bar denotes the shipping mode which is first class, second class and the standard class. Okay, So this is the legend for that. The red mode is the first class shipping mode. The black one is the second class shipping mode and the green one is the uh, standard class of shipping. Okay, fine. The left end point of a bar indicates the booking day of the order while the right end points or the right end point indicates the dispatch day of the order. And the difference between the dispatch day and the booking day is called the processing time of the order. Okay, for example, if we consider this order, the order date is September 1st, okay, and then there is a uh, processing time which here we are calling uh, processing time. So processing time is the difference between the order date and the dispatch date. This here is the dispatch date which is September 3. So if we consider this order, the order date is September 1 and the dispatch date is September 3. And, and the processing time is basically two days. Okay, this is the set. Finally, next for the same category, an order is considered for booking only after the previous order of the same category is dispatched. So, if let's say this is the category art category, the next order can only be taken once the previous order has been dispatched, which you can clearly see over here. Next order date is only after the dispatch of the previous order, right? And no two consecutive orders of the same category had identical ship mode during this period. Okay. Okay. So you can see uh, this is only a single order. It's not that there was an order uh, for one day which had one day processing time and then there was another order of the standard class which had only one day shipping time. The last line what it means is no two shipping uh, modes were no two consecutive shipping modes were of same kind right so this is one single order and not two different orders this is one single order and not two different orders this is one single order okay if this is second class the next order will not be from the second class the next order will be some other class or some other shipping mode this is what the last point is telling us about okay now uh, coming to the next paragraph here what we are given is for example if there were only two orders in the furnishing category during this period okay that is the furnishing category this is the furnishing category and we can clearly see that there are only two orders it's not that this particular bar has more than one order this is a single order this also is a single order okay fine so next is uh, the first one was shipped in the second class which you can clearly see the black bar is for the second class the first order was second class and the second order was standard class okay the first order was booked on september 1 which is obviously uh, which is very clear from the graph and it was dispatched on september 5 it was dispatched on september 5 now as soon as the first order was dispatched the second order was booked on september 5 the second order was from standard class this is the one right and it was dispatched on september 12 it was dispatched on september 12 so from september 5 till september 12 the total processing time for the second order was 12 minus 5 7 days similarly the processing time for the first order was 2 days uh, sorry not this this one here this is seven days and this here is 
one, two, three, four days. For furnishing, the first order's processing time was four days. Okay. Now let's look at questions. Understanding the bar graph was the most important aspect of this particular set. Once we have understood the bar graph, let's look at the questions. The questions are very straightforward. Let's look at the first question here. For how many days between September 1 and September 14, both inclusive, had no booking from this client considering all the above categories? Okay. So we have to figure out all those dates when there was no booking taken from the client. Let's look at one by one from September 1 till September 14 here. Okay. Now September 1, clearly there was a booking here. No need to check for others. So September 1 cannot be considered. We have to figure out those days when we do not have any booking. So September 1 is not there. September 2 again we have a booking. So let's uh, leave this. September 3 again there is a booking here for the envelopes category. September 4, there is a booking here in the tables category. So let's leave this. September 5, there is a booking in the furnishing category. So let's leave this. September 6, there is a booking in the fasteners category. So let's leave this. September 7, there is a booking in the paper category. So let's leave this. September 8, now if you look at September 8, there is no booking that is done on September 8. So September 8 is one day where there was no booking done. Let's look at September 9. Now for September 9 again there is no booking. So this is also one of those days where no booking was done or no order was booked. September 10. So on September 10 again no booking was taken. September 11 again you see there was no booking taken. September 12. Now on September 12 again there is no booking taken. September 13. Now September 13 there was a booking taken for the arts category. So let's leave this. And finally September 14. There is no booking taken on September 14. So how many days are there without any booking? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer to this question is 6 here. Okay. Okay, now coming to the next question. The next question here is what sorry, what was the average processing time of all orders in the categories which had only one type of shipping mode? So let's look at how many categories are there which had only one type of shipping mode. So arts category, there are multiple shipping modes. Let's leave this binders, let's leave this. Papers has multiple, phones has multiple. Uh, single category or single shipping categories are these two categories accessories and envelopes you see accessories has, has only one order which is from the standard class and envelopes also has only one order which is from the standard class so we have to calculate the average shipping time for these two categories so for accessories the shipping time is from September 1 till September 19 that means the processing time is 18 days and for envelopes, the processing time is from September 3 to September 7. 7 minus 3 is 4 here, right? So the average processing time will be 18 plus 4 divided by 2. 22 by 2 is 11 days. So the average processing time is 11 days over here. Okay, fine. Let's move on to the next question. The sequence of categories that is arts, binders, paper and phones in decreasing order of average processing time of their orders in this period is. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to calculate the average processing time of all these four categories and then uh, arrange them in decreasing order. So let's look at arts. Now the for arts if we have to calculate the average processing time that will be total processing time divided by the total number of orders. The total processing time, uh, what we can do is either we can calculate individually and then add them. That will be slightly lengthier way of doing it. The total processing time is simply from September 1 till September 21. There is no idle time in between, right? All days from September 1 till September 19 processing is being done till September 21, sorry. Processing is being done. So the total processing time is 21. This is 21, right? 21 minus 1, 20 days divided by, now the average will be divided by total number of orders. How many orders are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20 by 5, 
So the average processing time for arts category is 4. Let's look at the same thing for binders. The total processing time is for binders from September 1 till September 16. This is 16 here. So 16 minus 1, 15 days divided by a 1, 2, 3, 4 orders. So 15 by 4 is 3.75 here. Okay, fine. For paper, uh, next is papers. So the total processing time is from September 2 till September 12. So that is 10 days divided by 1, 2, 3 orders. So 10 by 3 is 3.33. 3. And finally, for phones, the processing time is from September 2 till September 17. So 17 minus 2 is 15 divided by number of orders is 1, 2 and 3. So this comes out to be 5 here. Okay. Now we have to arrange them in decreasing order. So decreasing order means from highest till lowest. So the highest processing time is for phones. So we have phones which is greater than the next highest is arts. So phone, arts. You see there is only one option which has phone and arts in this particular order. Next will be binders which is 3.75 and the final one will be paper with 3.33. So the correct answer to this question is option A over here. Okay. Now in the last question we have approximately what percentage of orders had a processing time of one day during the period September 1 to September 20. So we have to actually look at the whole duration and we have to figure out how many orders had processing or how what percentage of orders has had processing time of exactly one day. Fine. So let's look at how many orders were there total. So for arts we had already figured out there are five orders. For binders there were total four orders. For paper there were three orders. For phone three orders. Appliances had two bookcases 3, fasteners 3, 2, 2, tables had 2 orders, chairs had 2 orders, accessories 1, envelope 1 and storage 2. So the total number of orders is 9 plus 6, 15, 15 plus 5, 20, 25, 29, 31, 32, 33 and 235. The total number of orders is 35. Now out of these what percentage have exactly one day processing time? So let's see. This order has one day processing time. This order has one day processing and this order has one day processing time. Then you have these two orders which have one day processing time. This order has one day processing time. So let's go arts one order, binders two, paper none, phone one, appliances none, bookcases two, fasteners none, furnishing none, labels none, tables none, chairs there is one and that's it. Accessories, envelopes and storage has none. So how many orders have exactly one day processing time? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 orders out of 35. So this gives us 7 by 35 is 1 by 5. 100 by 5 is 20 percent. So the 20 percent of orders had exactly one day processing time. Hence the answer is option D over here. Okay. So that's it for this question. Thank you.